B1, preliminary one, tests one to four. Published by Cambridge University Press and Uckles, 2019. This recording is copyright. CD1. Test 1. There are four parts to the test. You will hear each part twice. We will now stop for a moment. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at question one. One. Where does the man think he left his wallet? Hello, my name's Joe Smith. I'm ringing because I lost my black leather wallet on Monday. I got off the 11.20 train from Reading and went to the shop at the end of Platform 2. I bought some sandwiches, so I had my wallet then. Afterwards, I went to sit in the waiting room. I remember putting my wallet down. I probably left it there because my next train arrived, so I hurried off to get it. If it's handed in, please can you contact me on... 07577-886 Now listen again. Hello, my name's Joe Smith. I'm ringing because I lost my black leather wallet on Monday. I got off the 11.20 train from Reading and went to the shop at the end of Platform 2. I bought some sandwiches, so I had my wallet then. Afterwards, I went to sit in the waiting room. I remember putting my wallet down. I probably left it there because my next train arrived, so I hurried off to get it. If it's handed in, please can you contact me on 07577 886. Two. What is tomorrow's talk at the Nature Society about? Do you fancy coming along to tomorrow's Nature Society talk? Yeah. The last one on rivers and the plants around them was very good, wasn't it? Well, you'll like the next topic too. It's something you're interested in. Ah, so it's about rainforests then? I knew you'd think that. Actually, there's a talk on that next month. This one will deal with something closer to home. Wild flowers in parks and gardens. Oh, OK. Not as interesting as jungle wildlife, but it still sounds worth going to. Now listen again. Do you fancy coming along to tomorrow's Nature Society talk? Yeah. The last one on rivers and the plants around them was very good, wasn't it? Well, you'll like the next topic too. It's something you're interested in. Ah, so it's about rainforests then? I knew you'd think that. Actually, there's a talk on that next month. This one will deal with something closer to home. Wild flowers in parks and gardens. Oh, OK. Not as interesting as jungle wildlife, but it still sounds worth going to. Three. What will the woman order for lunch? The menu looks good, doesn't it? Yes. Have you decided what you're going to order? You normally have salad for lunch, don't you? Yes. I was thinking I might have the tomato soup. Or maybe a toasted cheese and tomato sandwich. They both sound nice, and I've heard the bread here is really good. They bake it themselves. Look, it says everything on the lunchtime menu comes with fresh bread. In that case, I'll go for my usual choice. <laughs> OK. Well, I'm going to try the soup. Now listen again. The menu looks good, doesn't it? Yes. Have you decided what you're going to order? You normally have salad for lunch, don't you? Yes. I was thinking I might have the tomato soup. Or maybe a toasted cheese and tomato sandwich. They both sound nice. And I've heard the bread here is really good. 
They bake it themselves. Look, it says everything on the lunchtime menu comes with fresh bread. In that case, I'll go for my usual choice. <laughs> OK, well, I'm going to try the soup. Four. How did the woman find out about the exhibition? Hi, Jack. Did you know there's an interesting new exhibition on at the local art gallery? I was looking at the gallery's website recently and I didn't see anything about it. I'm surprised they haven't advertised it more on posters around town either. Anyway, according to what I heard on the radio, it's only on for a couple of days and I think it'll be really popular. I can book tickets online if you're interested. Let me know as soon as you can. Now listen again. Hi, Jack. Did you know there's an interesting new exhibition on at the local art gallery? I was looking at the gallery's website recently and I didn't see anything about it. I'm surprised they haven't advertised it more on posters around town either. Anyway, according to what I heard on the radio, it's only on for a couple of days and I think it'll be really popular. I can book tickets online if you're interested. Let me know as soon as you can. Five. What job is the woman's brother doing? Did I tell you my brother's working at Scooter, that new designer clothes place in town? You know, the one that sells really original jeans and T-shirts? I'm quite jealous. I'd like to work there as a shop assistant myself. Well, in fact, he wanted to do that but they only needed a security guard for the shop, so he was given that job instead. He's pleased, and he gets a great discount on all those amazing designer clothes. Cool. Now listen again. Did I tell you my brother's working at Scooter, that new designer clothes place in town? You know, the one that sells really original jeans and T-shirts? I'm quite jealous. I'd like to work there as a shop assistant myself. Well, in fact, he wanted to do that, but they only needed a security guard for the shop, so he was given that job instead. He's pleased, and he gets a great discount on all those amazing designer clothes. Cool. Six. How will the woman travel to her meeting? Hi, Brian. This is Amanda, Amanda Smith. I'm calling to let you know that I might be a little late for our meeting. They've cancelled my train. It's really annoying, actually, as the train's the fastest way to get into town. I tried to get a cab, but the queue at the station was so long. It'll be quicker to rush home and get my own car rather than wait for a taxi. So I'll see you soon, hopefully. Now listen again. Hi, Brian. This is Amanda, Amanda Smith. I'm calling to let you know that I might be a little late for our meeting. They've cancelled my train. It's really annoying, actually, as the train's the fastest way to get into town. I tried to get a cab, but the queue at the station was so long. It'll be quicker to rush home and get my own car rather than wait for a taxi. So I'll see you soon, hopefully. Seven. Which sport has the man stopped doing? You're doing lots of winter sports this year, aren't you? That's right. Snowboarding's been a first-time experience for me. It's taken me a while to learn, but now I find it hard to stop. What else have you tried? Ice hockey, too. I've always enjoyed watching it. It's too fast, though, and I gave it up in the end. Skiing's a bit scary, but it's so exciting that I just can't get enough of it. It's a shame it's such an expensive sport to do. Yes, I know. Now listen again. You're doing lots of winter sports this year, aren't you? That's right. Snowboarding's been a first-time experience for me. It's taken me a while to learn, but now I find it hard to stop. What else have you tried? Ice hockey, too. I've always enjoyed watching it. It's too fast, though, and I gave it up in the end. 
Skiing's a bit scary, but it's so exciting that I just can't get enough of it. It's a shame it's such an expensive sport to do. Yes, I know. That is the end of part one.